This is the Hollyland wireless microphone system. And this is the DJI wireless microphone system. While we are reviewing the Hollyland wireless microphone kit, there's two microphones here. So one's gonna stay clipped to me, but one we're actually gonna clip onto this drone and we're gonna fly it and see how it sounds. People always wanna know, how does a microphone sound on a drone? How does it sound? I don't know. You're gonna find out tonight. At the night spot. Now why do I have both of these in the hand? The DJI is probably the most popular and best on the market. But if you don't have $330 to spend, you might want to get this Hollyland version, which costs less than half the price. And while it doesn't have every single feature included in the DJI, you can get away with quite a lot. It does have, just like the DJI, a rechargeable case that you can charge that will charge both microphone unit and a transmitter that you plug into your camera. And it even has accessories that you can add that can allow you to plug this directly into your cell phone to get some premium audio when you're on the go recording yourself for a channel or just for some home videos. Now, which one of these is better? Obviously, DJI. It costs more than double the price though. Right now, we're shooting both of these on two different cameras. I have the Hollyland on the Sony a7 III right here. Then I have the DJI kit on the Sony ZV-E10. This is the first test that I'm gonna do of the Hollyland wireless mic system. I have the little fuzzy thing on there. I'm just gonna unclip this and hold it. I'm a little spoiled by the DJI system. I don't know really how this is going to sound at all. I have it like really close to my mouth right here. I think I do need to turn the gain up just a little bit. Let's see how that does. Like I'm really talking close, but normally I would like to have the mic right about here. Uh, I am talking at a normal voice right here. The Hollyland Lark M1 portable wireless audio system comes with this really nice carrying case. Inside you have the wireless receive transmitters or wireless microphones. They go to each corresponding channel, one for left, one for right. And it also has these little pop on windscreens, which are pretty handy. And now you have some audio that actually sounds pretty good, even with a decent amount of wind. In here, you have your little audio cable, which is gonna be used to connect to the receiver. Then all you do is mount this on your hot cold shoot. Now you're ready to record directly to this camera with either one of these mics or both mics. So it's really nice if you're doing an interview or something like that, where you have two people speaking or just for yourself to have audio of two different locations or if you just need one channel it'll record to i believe the left or the right depending on which one you're doing and in your editing software you can just duplicate the audio channel right there now let's compare this to the dji system as you can see it's actually a good bit smaller and lighter now the dji unit has your receiver and your two transmitters as well. So here is the receiver for both units. Now, one of the things that you miss out on this is that it does not have a screen. It does have indicator lights on the side. You can't really see these from the front. So one thing I really like about the DJI system versus the Rode Wireless Go that I was using prior to this was that you could see the lights on the side. The Rode had the screen on the top, which was not very easy to see while you're recording. And this has it on the side, which is also not super easy to see. And the actual microphones themselves are also smaller, lighter, and thinner with the Hollyland. So size, weight is a premium. This is gonna work better. Now, one of the things I really, really like about the DJI is that it has a clip. They both have a clip on feature. This one though actually has this little magnet. So you can put this on the inside of a shirt and clip it to you. So if you see me talking in a lot of videos, I'm doing it that way. So that's a bonus for DJI. DJI also has a little audio input. So you could use this just as a receiver and plug a different microphone in this, the shotgun mic or a lapel mic. This housing system does not have that feature on these transmitters. So all you can basically do is adjust your gain on here. So not a lot of controls. It just has the microphone itself, but the sound quality and range are actually fairly comparable. I expected the DJI to way outperform this and it really doesn't as much as I expected to. DJI comes with two little connectors here and that's so you can connect directly to an Android phone with a USB-C or an iPhone with a lightning connector right there. It's held inside the case so you have these with you at all times. DJI also has little windscreens and the one thing I like about DJI is their windscreen actually screws on. This one just fits on. It's not as loose as the Rode one. The Rode one you were always sort of in danger of losing that thing. This one fits fairly snugly but not 
as tight. These connectors do not come with the Hollyland, but you can purchase them separately. So depending on which phone system you have, sometimes you don't necessarily need the extra audio on a audio production like a camera or set, but you really could use some better phone audio. And this is a great way to have a portable, inexpensive option. So all in all, a really nice um, solution if you're on a budget and you can't afford the DJI system. It doesn't have all the features, but if you don't ever need to connect to an external mic, it's only about $150 for this whole package. It comes with the hard case, the DJI does. Are you gonna buy this and send it on a, a drone? This thing costs $339, so I would not be brave enough to send one of my precious DJI mics on a drone, but with this one being a little bit more expensive, I could risk it for the biscuit. Now we're gonna walk backwards and see how long it takes for any disruption in the connection to see which one has better range. Now, as I'm walking backwards, you can see me getting smaller and smaller, farther away. There's a bunch of people talking off to the side, and we're gonna see if any either one of these microphones picks them up as they're talking. Now, how far can I get away from this thing before it starts dropping the sound? I don't know, but I'm gonna keep talking all the way until I get about 200 feet away. So now I'm all the way to the bushes, probably about 50, 60 meters away. Can you still hear me? Now we're gonna do a test where my body is blocking. And I'm gonna do the same exercise, but I'm gonna put my body and walk away. Now I'm walking the other way. Can you still hear me as I'm walking away? Uh, these boots were not made for walking away. They are, they're, they're Adidas. Uh, running shoes, so technically these shoes are meant for walking. So as you can see in that clip, when the Hollyland gets a little bit too far away, the sound starts to clip as it starts to lose signal. You notice that happening even more medium distance when I went behind a bush or something was physically obstructing that signal from going back and forth. Now this does not have an internal recorder. The DJI does on each microphone. So had I been flying that system, I could have just recorded it internally and had clean audio the whole way through. So it won't work for that type of shot but nice to know that you have options in a pinch. And if you did have a clear line of sight, you could. Most people are not actually gonna wanna throw a microphone on a drone. I always see that question on Facebook and better off doing sound design in post. Strapping even a pretty good microphone onto a giant whirling dervish just isn't gonna sound good.